Hi everyone, so it is a Saturday morning here and in my local area it is council pickup day. Now council pickup day is a thing that we have in Australia where everyone in the street goes through their homes and can just basically dump a whole pile of stuff and the council will come and, and um, pick it up and even people will come out and like take things off the side of the road. It's actually really interesting to drive around the streets and see what people are getting rid of. There's some really good stuff. Anyway, um, I am using this as a fantastic opportunity to go through my own home, to really like declutter, cleanse the energy, re-energize it, reorganize and give my home a really good clean. And there is one area in particular that I really let slide in my home and my father has really made me aware of it because a lot of things have died because of that, which is not a very nice um, thing of me to have let happen. So the area that I'm referring to is actually my backyard and I really need to not only invest some time and tender loving care in resuscitating this area but I'm actually going to have to spend quite a bit of money on getting professional help to bring it up to scratch, to bring it up to the level and beauty that it's supposed to be. So for this video I'm sharing with you things that I am doing, the strategy that I'm putting in place so that I can make the most of this Saturday morning because Deep down, I would much prefer to be at the beach rather than doing this, but I also see this as a golden opportunity to, you know, declutter and start afresh and give me a new clean plate to work from and build from. So to give you a little insight as to what I'm doing, I'm actually got a game plan. So I'm going to start from one end of the house and work myself my way progressively through looking at everything. I'm going to touch everything, look at it and ask myself how do I feel about this? Do I like it? Does it add value? Might, do I use it? Do I appreciate it? Is it in style of the, of the home because I love interior to style and if it doesn't fit that criteria I'm just going to simply let it go. Um, also where there's opportunities for me to potentially make a little bit of extra cash, um, I've got my phone with me and I'll be listing things on either Gumtree or um, maybe even eBay. But I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself because I'm also only giving myself an hour, an hour of power to really go hardcore. So of course I will start my clock. I will make sure that I don't take any um, phone calls or text messages. I'm going to even put my headphones on and listen to the very inspiring Mari Kondo, the life changing magic of cleaning up to help me stay focused and motivated and really get into the actual energetic cleanse of this process. And I'm actually listening to this through Blinklist. So potentially I will listen to this throughout the hour of um, magically tidying up my backyard and my house. I'm actually not going to do upstairs really because I regularly cleanse and minimize upstairs. I'm really going to focus on just downstairs and moving stuff out, creating space, freeing up energy um, and feel really good about this. And it is council cleanup is such a great opportunity to really make the most of it. I don't need to get a, a ute or a skip or go make a trip to the tip. Um, this is just such a convenient opportunity. So um, a fantastic way if anyone's thinking of giving their home a really good cleanse check out what your local council cleanup dates are anyway you will follow me around and see what i'm doing and i'll also try and keep you posted but i really hope you enjoy this video now as i explained i'm starting from the back end of my house and i'm slowly working my way through to the front of the house i'm going to cl tidy clean minimize cleanse decal um, as I go and I've got all my cleaning products ready to go I'm gonna make the most of this so starting with these pots here I'm getting rid of excess pots I don't need them I don't use them and they're gonna create so much more space in my house and they're collecting leaves which is adding to more mess and more stress in my life A note of letting things go, a really dear friend of mine bought me this and it was absolutely beautiful but I think I've like knocked it over or it's melted a little bit in the sun and it's all rusty and gross and covered in cobwebs so I feel really bad because my, as I said, my good friend bought this to me but I'm going to let it go. And by the way, on another note, council pickup day is a great way of getting some exercise because I am sweltering in the heat and um, really working up a sweat and uh, my heart is pounding. 
Okay, so behind me is my outdoor lounge. Now, this was really cheap when I bought it. When I bought it, I meant it just because I had no money at the time, just to help get me through for a couple of years. It's actually lasted five, almost five years, but it is well and truly dead now. The rattan is like fallen apart. I think it's not even rattan, I think it's plastic, it's all cracked. The, um, the cushions are all moldy and torn and revolting. I probably should have spent more time taking care of it so it could have lasted maybe a little bit longer. But enough's enough. I can't let like treat this area um, physically and um, energetically like this. So this is all going and I'm going to have to step up and um, spend some money and invest in a probably slightly better quality um, outdoor lounge and actually take care in like covering it up at night time, bringing the cushions in when it rains and not being um, quite so like complacent and maybe even a touch lazy with this. But this is all going to go and then I'm going to, when I say clean all this area, I can see that it's also left stains from rust. I'm going to have to get this area massive clean and I'm also going to have to spend some money getting this whole area sealed um, to protect the tiles, which will hopefully help um, bring out all this mold and dirt and stains that kind of collected over the last few years. So I will keep going. Okay, so this is my herb garden, which you can see is looking extremely sad. I completely neglected it. Everything has died. This is one area that I really want to bring alive again, like, and also it's going to help me, encourage me, inspire me to cook healthier meals. Now, I've on that note of herbs and um, this is my um, previous lettuce bowl that I tried to grow myself. As you can see, I've miserably failed. And again, another pot in my garden that's taking up space and clutter and is creating a space for leaves to collect and stain the tiles. So I'm going to let this go. It's a, it is a really nice bowl, but I'm going to let it go to a new home where it's going to be appreciated. And I'm going to keep this area as being completely um, dedicated to lettuces and um, plants and herbs and also appreciate the fact that it actually is really well designed and it climbs up the wall it's right near with my uh, here with my um, outdoor shower and it's like a neatly organized place where i can grow stuff that hopefully stays alive yeah. um amazing i just took that lettuce bowl to the street to drop it on the side of the road and somebody's already asked me if they can have it and is already taking it and he's going to come over here and see if there's any other pots that they would like to take that are creating clutter and creating dirt in my life. How cool is that? One man's trash is another man's treasure. Um, people are fighting over my pots in the street. Literally, people are going, no, I'm here first, and they're grabbing my stuff. It's, oh my god, whoa. This is going to be hopefully a lot quicker and easier than I thought. Okay, so I didn't even get the chance to show you the pots that I got rid of because, um, Two people, three people in the street um, were just fighting over the pot, so I didn't get a chance to shoot before they took them. But as you can see um, by these like dirty areas, you can see my frustration in um, you know how having excess stuff in my garden creates dirt. Um, so I'm going to feel really good about cleaning all this up and just really looking at the way I style this garden so that going forward it doesn't ever get back to what it w was previously. Uh, and the other thing is I've almost um, close to an hour's worth of doing this. I'm dripping in sweat. I've got, I'm going to do a little bit of weeding um, and a bit of cleaning and then I'm pretty much, um, I've done my hour of power. Unfortunately I didn't even make it through to the front of the house which is really disappointing but I actually feel really, I'm exhausted but I feel really I feel really good. I feel really proud that my stuff has now gone to a much better home already. I feel really great that I can now got a clean um, canvas to work with. I'm going to take so much better care um, going forward to make sure this is doesn't get unloved like this again. And I, it's re-energizing and um, I'm going to yeah be a lot more passionate and caring about my space. So this has been a great exercise to do. So as I said, council clear up clean up is such a fantastic opportunity to declutter your home and the benefits of it are not just fresh um, clean energy but keeping a sense of calm and order in my backyard. Now after I've cleaned everything up I will also um, do a quick shoot at the end of this video which is right now as to how much better and cleaner and nicer it looks. Okay so after doing my hour of power I had a little break 
But when I got back, I realized I really just wanted to complete this job, you know, take it from start to end and do a really good high quality job. So I have cleaned pretty much everything down. Um, it's looking, I know on, probably on camera it doesn't look that impressive, but I'm amazed as to how much bigger the space now looks by getting rid of just some, a few extra pots that were collecting dirt, like cleaning up the area. It's now ready to go for some professional help. I'm gonna get someone in to gurney um, the tiles and put a sealant on them so they can't get dirty and stain like this again. I'm gonna get some nice pots that I actually love to help create some climbing walls with maybe um, bougainvilleas and I'm gonna get someone to help me hang the mirrors on the wall so dust and dirt and leaves and dog hair cannot be collected around on the ground. So I, I feel really good about this and I even did some weeding which was incredibly um, spiritual and like a, um, like a psychic cleanse because I was thinking about people in my life and you know as I was shaking the weeds some were really like had really deep roots deep into the earth and I had to really shake them but then I also had to get rid of all the really fresh um, nutrient fertile soil around them and then there were some dead weeds which just came out really easily and then you know just little ones which took a little bit of a tug and they just crumbled and came out in my fingers and it just kind of made me think about life and um, things that are you know that we do in our lives that are you know negative or toxic or have a you know a distasteful um, effect in our lives and what we in the decisions we make so it was really insightful um, I feel great I actually feel really proud and I even though I'm so hot um, I have the right kind of energy and clarity to really now enjoy the rest of my weekend and enjoy it guilt free knowing that I actually completely achieved what I set out to do with this job and I'm really proud of myself. Anyway, that's it for this video. I Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe because once this whole area is finished, um, I'm gonna do a tour of my home and share with you budget saving tips that I've done in the home to keep it looking you know, up to date and in, in, I guess in sync with my own style and taste. Wishing you guys a fantastic week. As I said, if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do and you can follow me on Instagram at sugarmama TV and at Canna Sass. All right, ciao for now.